hey everybody welcome back into our channel you know some people really don't realize what they have family until it doesn't come back this is prophetess nikki welcome back to our channel i pray that god will bless you and keep you i pray that whatever your hands touch that god will prosper that i pray that you're remaining encouraged i pray that you're holding on to your faith faith and i pray that you are standing in the presence of god because in his presence there is fullness of joy and always remember that God inhabits the praises of his people. You want God involved in your situation. You want God to come and to sit down and solve these things that you are going through with. You got to make room for God. You got to make the atmosphere conducive to the presence of God. How do we do that? We do it through our praise and we do it through our worship. I'm going to dive right in, family of God. Some people did not know what they had in you until you did not come back. Some people are saying they don't care if you don't come back. They're supposed to say that. And you know why people are supposed to say that, family? Because they know they've lost. They've taken a big L. They've taken a double L and they know it. So the only thing that they can say to make themselves look good in front of other people and to make themselves somehow feel good for the moment of those bad decisions is to say, I don't care. They do care. Anytime you lose something of great value and you can't get it back, it's going to bother you. It's not the fact that you walk away. It's the fact of you not going back. You've moved on and you're not going back. Your back is turned. So now people realize what they had. And they realize what they had in you by you moving forward and by you never turning around to go back and revisit that place that you were in with them. You're not going to revisit that place with certain people. You don't have a desire to visit or to revisit certain places with people and relationships. Why don't you? Because you've healed or you're healing. You thinking better you're thinking more clearer your heart is healing and you want better because now you know that you deserve better whenever you do self-love because it's so important you can't give away what you don't have people couldn't give you what they didn't have family you could not get a healed version of a person who was still broken it doesn't matter what you do for people they can't give you what you need. We must give ourselves what we need and not look for that in anybody else. You know, when God created humanity, he created all of us with a void. He did. He intentionally created me. He intentionally created you with a void that only he could fill. And it doesn't matter what you try to put in that place, that void will not be filled. It is not going to give you joy it's going to give you temporary satisfaction. You always remember that. That void that you have on the inside of you was created by God. He intentionally kept a void in us because that's his place. That spot belongs to God. You have gone. You're moving. You're walking. And you're not going backwards. You're going forward. And people realize the loss of you. Some people don't know what they have until they realize what they had would never come back. Some people felt like you would be back by now, family. Some people were willing to take a risk with you. They were willing to gamble you. They were willing to gamble a friendship. They were willing to gamble a relationship with you because they never thought, family, they never thought that you would not come back. So now they can understand your value. They can understand the worth that you have. They can understand. They can understand the loss of you. It's a big loss when you, you, when you lose God's children in your life, in your business, in your home, in marriages, in ministries. Wherever God has given you a chosen person and you lose that person, you're going to feel the repercussions of that. You're going to feel the loss. It's a heavy loss. It's, it's a great loss. It's a big loss for some people because you're never coming back. They thought you would be back by now, 
they looking at their time they're looking at the clock they're looking at their watch they're looking at their phone they're looking at their messages and they're trying to figure out why haven't you communicated with me why aren't you calling me why are not you responding I'm trying to gain your attention you don't want their attention there's nothing that people can do that can draw you back in because you are healed from toxicity whenever you heal from toxicity the desire in your soul is going to change the desire in your very spirit is going to change because you've healed this is why people didn't want you to heal this is why people always family wanted you to always stay in a position with them where they can come in and out your life like a revolving door like they wanted to this is what they always wanted for you they never thought that you were healed they never thought that you would make up in your mind and stand on your own decision to never go back you said that I am never going back when I get over this I am never going back when God delivered me from this I am not going back now they can feel your loss now people can understand that it wasn't worth your loss now people can realize family that how they gambled you it wasn't worth the risk Gambling, you got to be careful when you gamble in life because it's a huge possibility that you may lose. You take a risk. You take a real high risk whenever you gamble. A lot of people gamble with you. They were willing to gamble with you because they were so sure that you wouldn't go anywhere. And if you did walk away, they were very, very certain that at some point you would come back. They were very sure that at some point in your life they could convince you to come back but the minute that you shut people down conversationally the moment that you shut people down from gaining access to you the moment that you change your phone number family the moment that you began to block people the moment that you did that the ball game changed for these opportunities that you had in your life the game changed all the way around the board for these narcissistic people that you had into your life now these people can see the very loss of you now they get it that they took a risk that they wish they shouldn't have not have taken they get that now that you weren't worth the risk now they get that you are gone and you are moved on this is why people realize what they had in you. Now they understand your loss because they know you are not coming back. They know, family, that nothing that they can do to you, nothing that they can say, they cannot convince you to come back. They know that they've lost. So some people will have a hard time taking a loss. And some people will try to make other people feel that they can care less and they don't look at you as a loss but they do look at you as a loss. That's the pride talking. That's the ego talking because they realize they please people, but they did not think that the day would come that they will lose you forever. This is why people regret taking that risk of losing you. This is why people will regret gambling with you, taking that chance, taking that high risk with you because they took a risk with you the last time. You tried to tell people, family, and they didn't believe you because you went back on your words so many times. This is why we have to swear to our own hurt like God tells us and change not. Because people will judge you on, on what you say. People will judge us and they will treat us accordingly. So whatever you desire to do, stand on what you say. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Because at the end of the day, you will either be disrespected by people or you're going to be respected. It, there's two ways, my personal opinion, that people will respect you in this world. They're going to respect you by honoring you, coming a little bit closer to you, or people are going to respect you, and they're going to stay away from you, family of God. People are realizing right now that they have lost you, and you were not worth that loss. You were not worth the risk, and they, they've realized this because you're not coming back. You've moved on. This is what it means to move on. You have no desire to go back to the former things. You're not. And when God starts to bless you and when God starts putting you in a position in your life where your prayers are being answered, family of God, where you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, you have no desire to go back to things that are old. Those former things, you have no desire, family. And this is when people are going to feel your loss. They're going to feel your loss when they see you moving on without them. When they see you never coming back to them, not having a desire to deal with them anymore, 
then they can feel your loss. This is going to teach people. When God gives you people, you keep those people. When God gives you somebody, you know, we have to have enough sense to keep these people around and not to listen to outside influences of how to conduct our relationships and how to conduct our friendships especially if you don't know how to have a healthy one and these people unfortunately didn't know how to have a healthy one because it was modeled unhealthy in their own home so people can only give away what they have this is what they gave you because this is what they saw family of God they feel the repercussions of you they feel your loss they gamble with you and they took a risk on losing you and they regret that today because they know you will never come back to them in a million years. They know they will never get the opportunity to get into your ear again. They know you have blocked all communications. You don't want them in your presence. You don't hate anybody. You're not offended. You're not walking in offense. You want better for yourself. And they've taught you that you deserve better. You deserve better than that, family of God. And you've realized that you had nothing with you but a bag of problems. These people brought you so many problems in your life. They wouldn't help you, but they always wanted you to help them. They wouldn't give you support, but they always wanted you to feel like you were not being a kind person if you did not give them support. What they were willing to, to take from you. They weren't even willing to give you 1% of the things that they asked of you. And you freely gave it. You freely gave it. This is why sometimes God will stop the flow of your blessings whenever he blesses you. And you start putting that blessing into unfertile ground. When you start giving away your blessing that God gave you into the lives of a person. Let me tell you something that you shouldn't. This is why your money will be blocked. This is why your opportunities are going to be blocked because God knows the heart of people and God is listening to the conversations of pe that people are having with you. God hears the plots, the ploys, the schemes that people are devising against you and God will block your money. He will hold your money up. He will hold your opportunities. He will hold your breakthrough. He will hold your miracles. He will hold your blessings because he's doing it out of love because he knows these spiritual snakes and these spiritual leeches that you have that wants to latch on to you only for what you can do for them only from what they can extract from your life and once they come into your life and do an extraction and deplete you they're gonna take what they've gained from you and try to build with somebody else and that is the worst decision that people have met they've met their fate they've met their match from of God when they decided to treat you so poorly you're gone and you're never going back forget things that are formal the former things of old and look uh, th for things that are ahead of you because whatever you are desiring is ahead of you. It's not behind you. Take the lessons that you've learned. I love you. We got to go, family. Thank all of you for what you do daily on our channel. Keep liking the videos. Keep subscribing to the channel. If you're new, welcome here. We always talking about how we can grow, evolve, transform our lives in the word of God using God's kingdom principles because this is how we live we are kingdom minded people we are spiritually minded people we are led by God's spirit everything happens in our life for a reason and it's for a season don't forget that it's for a reason and it's for a season family of God something good is going to come out of it it is something good is going to come out of all these detestable things that you have gone through with people realize right now you weren't worth that risk they realize they gambled you and they wish they hadn't gambled you. They can see now because you're not coming back. You moved on. You're gone now. Now people can see that it wasn't worth the risk. It wasn't. We love you. Stay encouraged. Know that the best is yet to come for you. God is going to take your message and he's going to give you a huge testimony. He's going to take all those messes and he's going to give you a powerful message. This is what he's doing for you. He's giving you a testimony. You are a living testimony. What don't destroy you? It's going to make you stronger. You are becoming more stronger. You're becoming wiser. And I pray for an outpouring of God's spirit in you. I pray that the Holy Spirit will dwell in you. I pray that you will be revived. I pray you will be resuscitated. How do you be resuscitated and revived? The power source is God. So stay hooked up to God. Those of us who are prayerful people, we are always a house of power. You pray more, you become a, you become more of a powerful person whenever you pray less you're less powerful whatever you do don't let life stop you from praying stay before the lord because in his presence there is fullness of joy i love y'all so much be encouraged family bye-bye